Firstly, apologize for the sound quality on this video. Um, it's to do with the camera that I'm using, but and also I'm not quite sure what you're saying, so I'll just try and get as much in as I can possible. I've been buying a, a, a monitor that you can uh, use to because um, I don't have any articulated screens. I've been getting buying a new monitor which I haven't really unboxed yet, so that's coming. Um, I'm going to use that soon as well. So with this uh, this video is going to be about um, the macro this this lens is a wide angle lens by Niwa where you're at the Niwa um, and it has 0.45x super wide angle lens but the actual super wide angle lens um, I'll just show you um, I don't know if you can see that there but when you're actually using it and the shots come out there's often a lot of vignetting however it's not even very good for a wide angle lens really it's it's just like comes across as a bit like fisheye but I've had recently I've had uh, a Rhinox lens which I've spoken to on the channel uh, before about this how to use a Rhinox lens which is a macro lens and I've had that stolen so um, I've had this lens here. What, what it does, it just goes on the end of your camera on a breech camera, some breech cameras there's DSLRs, okay, and I just I'll take this one off because it's a 2-in-1 lens this is the wide angle lens and this is the macro part so I've had this a long time where, when uh, I, I bought it as a wide angle lens but when, when it was useless for that I haven't really messed around with it so this I thought why not try this um, as a you know an alternative to the Rhinox so anyway oops that's not fitting in right there we go right okay so I've just got I've got my watch here okay and this is if you look at that these three things here, the, what it is, is um, you can have different time uh, zones, you can have the day, you know, and uh, the date. You can actually hardly see them, that's about, you know, not to my eyes. Anyway, so I thought, well, I'll take a shot. I'll actually take a shot of both with and without this lens, okay? So I'll just uh, quickly... Right, okay. So just try and pop, pop that up there like that. And just take a shot of this here. Okay, you've got to find a sweet spot with this. Okay, that's not good. Just aim in there. Okay, let's see what that's like. Okay, so you can see one part of that very, very clearly. Okay, um, we'll just mess around a little bit more with that. Um, And just see if I can get some better shots of that. Let's try and get them all in. Okay, so there's the bottom one there. So this is uh, this is not too bad. Here's uh, I don't know if this is Satsuma or a Tangerine, as you can see there. That's what you get and. Uh, da, 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 da. Right, so this goes right into the details. See if we can get some real good details on this. So you can see the veins of the orange there, or the tangerine thing there. Um, if we put the um, flash pop up thing. There you see, 
there's some, some very very uh, you know detailed patterns on there and I mean I haven't used this very much so far but I do think this could be a it could be a viable solution to certainly my problems and again there you see so in a normal if you took that off You can't, you can't really get in very close at all. Just won't let you get in very close. So anyway, the, the reason why I brought this up was, uh, you know, if people are wanting a cheap outlet for DSLRs, personally I wouldn't bother with this, um, you know, this thing here. But it's, all it does is screw on to your, to your DSLR or your bridge camera and, um, you know, or sometimes a high-end compact cameras have them as well these uh, you know where you can just stick them on on the screws there um, so I can't remember how much they cost but I'll put it in the description um, and maybe that's something what you look for but as I say they've actually got another one which is um, uh, one that uh, has a doubles the zoom so for example if you've got a four time zoom or an 18 by 55 lens or, a, or as uh, 1870 on a Sony um, that doubles your, um, you know, like four times it'll be good eight times. That's not too bad, but the wide angle's not so not so great. So anyway, um, I hope this is helpful to somebody. So thanks for watching.